Hello, third graders. I am here to help you finish your seasonal art project. Do you remember this one? Remember we've had this of doing every single one? Oh, it looks so beautiful when it's done. We're going to go through that pretty quickly. Um, we're going to first start with the video that, um, that we started with. So watch closely. Okay, that was quick, wasn't it? Okay, so um, that is similar to what we were doing, except we did it in four different seasons. Okay, so let's go back to this one, and let's look at, this is where we left off. We have, of course, we have winter, geez, winter, fall, summer, we, we certainly need spring to start right here. That's what you have left. So we need to start with the background. To do the background, start with maybe a wide brush, something like that, something like that. You can even use one of these sponge brushes, but make it easy. Like start with a wet brush. And start with the darkest on the bottom. And you'll start. Remember how we tried to go halfway up? And add a little bit of white. And voila. Okay, I worked on it so that it made sure I touched all the tape so that it's nice and clean. Now wait for it to dry completely. Back. It's nice and dry. It's time to do the next part. You need to draw on the next part of the tree. I'm going to do that with my Sharpie or you can use a paintbrush or a brush pen. A hey, presto, my tree is complete. Remember in spring we get extra, we start, it starts to grow new leaves and things, but those, those tiny branches are on the outside part of the tree. So notice that I tried to make some of them so it looks balanced. So make sure your tree looks balanced and you've run over the tape. Okay, time to put on some blossoms. Okay, using my trusty Q-tip, which is probably the easiest, I'm gonna dab it, dab it in my paint. Notice your paint, you put it in your paint Practice a few because you want to make blossoms. Practice a few on your plate, then you can start putting blossoms on your tree. Okay, see you in a minute. Hey, showing you my blossoms. I've tried to do it in groups of three or five, one, three or five, so that it covers my tree. Um, you're gonna wait for those to dry before we add the little pink dots. Hello again. Okay, as you can see, I've mixed some red and white together to make my pink, the pink that makes your heart happy. Oh, pink makes my heart happy. Mixing paint makes my heart happy. And I'm using the very tinier end of a paintbrush. You want something tinier than your um, you want something tinier than your Q-tip. And you and I would try not to dip dip one or two. Put some little dots inside. I don't know if you can see those. Whoops, this way. 
putting in the little dots for the blossoms. All right, back in a minute. All finished. Can you see my pink blossoms on my tree? Doesn't it look like spring to you? Oh, it does to me. Okay, this is the best part, but make sure it's completely dry before you do this part. This is where you start to carefully remove this masking tape that's been on there for a year. I'm hoping this is gonna come off easy. Anyway, I'm gonna work on it and come back. We have to do this together because this is so cool. Notice I got one off pretty easy, but if you go slow and make sure you pull straight back gently, you're going to reveal the frame that separates our seasons. Uh, and it's finished. The only, the last thing I would do is to sign your art. But look at my seasonal tree. Hopefully you'll have this done before the longest day of the year, January 20, or excuse me, June 21st. Thank you for doing art with me. Have a great summer.